responsibility, even if you think you won't even get to your destination mm. if they don't do it properly. Uh, and don't aim for perfection. It's so easy to want to be perfect in everything you do. But if you aim for perfection, you'll always be disappointed. Exactly. And if you aim for something that's really good, you'll get there. Lists are good. Lists are I very do good lists. as well. And yes. then and all the satisfaction when you tick it off. Yeah. And, and it just early. puts it all, because otherwise you'll yes. forget I have to write everything down. That's right. I really and do. that helps, Eileen. Right, next we've got a message from Mary. Hi, Dr Hillary. My name's Mary, and I wonder if you've got any suggestions on how to get to sleep at night when I'm worried about work and kids, exams, etc. Yes. Well, this is another thing, isn't it? Trying to get to sleep, and that we know the effect that has, because we, we did that whole sleep clinic with you earlier in the yeah, year. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, Mary, so many people will identify with that question of yours. And I think what you need to do is to uh, re remember that there's things that you can't control. You, you can't it, control the kids' exam results. You can encourage them to do their best, but it's, you know, something that needs to be kept in perspective. If they do well, great. If they need to do exams again, it's not the end of the world. The fact is, if they're loved and they're happy, that's what you can achieve for them, but you can't do the exams for them. You can help them, support them, encourage them, and do all of that. And if you're finding it difficult to sleep, then make sure you distract yourself from your concerns before bed. Have a, an aromatherapy bath, give yourself some time, read a calming book, write your worries down. All of these things can help. They can indeed. Now, as you can imagine, loads and loads of people talking about weddings, funnily enough. I don't funny. think why. I wonder why. <laughs> but loads of people saying, have you got advice for, well, Megan, obviously, <laughs> poor girl, yeah, but yeah. any bride sure. who's yeah. now panicking, because we do. Yeah, I mean, this is your biggest day. This is your fantastic day, very important. And, and of course, you want everything to go perfectly. And it's, again, it's that thing about perfection. There is no such thing. There's no such thing. <laughs> and there will be other people trying to plan things for you, which you don't really want. Make sure that they know what you want, yes. you want to achieve. And remember that you're marrying that person, you're not marrying their families. So, you know, divorce yourself from the rest of the family yeah. and concentrate divorce on the person. Yourself. Well, kind of, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> unfortunate term, afraid, I know. Um, no, but... But okay. it, it's about the two of you. Yeah. And, and try and keep Don't things in perspective. This is your important day. Nothing else really matters. Yeah. It will go fine. And there will be detractors. There will be people having little side shows. Ignore. Ignore, ignore all of them. that. And that includes Absolutely. Harry and Meghan yeah. and <laughs> currently. People, and people have got to remember but it's their day Absolutely. and behave themselves. They all need to yes. behave themselves. Yeah. Now, look, what about a practical tip for all of us for yeah. de-stressing that doesn't take okay. much time <clears throat> and that we can do? Yeah, I, I, there's something called the quiet